you've created a form, you've sent it out, and now your responses are starting to come in. And so you can see all those responses uh, and the number of responses right here in the menu in your Google Form Editor shows me that I've received five responses to date. Now there's two ways to look at responses. We're going to start by looking at the most simple way under the Responses menu, and we're going to go ahead and choose to open up a summary of responses. This will show that I have had five responses to date. It will show, uh, it will make bar and pie charts based on the kinds of questions. So my drop down list shows me the kind of entree that people are referring to stake by 80%. In games, it will show me a bar chart, so on and so forth. Um, and this is really helpful to get a quick snapshot of uh, quantitative information, uh, lists, multiple choice questions, ranking scales. But it becomes a little bit more difficult to read and as well ascertain who wrote what when you uh, are starting to look at some of the more qualitative feedback or paragraph text or, or text box fields. So one of the things that I um, want to start getting comfortable doing is connecting a form to a Google spreadsheet. Um, before I do so, I just want to point out that this will also show you the number of responses you've received each day. Um, and so if I came back tomorrow, I could see that maybe I had a few more responses. All right, so how do I connect um, a Google Form to a spreadsheet? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and close this window, go back into my uh, editor view, and you'll notice that I have this choice to choose a response destination. When I select that, it's going to either ask me to keep my responses only in forms, and that just means that I have the ability to look at the responses in the summary view only. Or I can create a new spreadsheet, give it a title that's going to be helpful to me, uh, which will connect form responses, as you see here, to a spreadsheet. Um, so it, it separates the form, uh, the live form, and the responses so that you can start to take a deeper dive. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck always create a new spreadsheet because I'm just going to be working from this one from here on out. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. It will show me that it's setting up the spreadsheet and it'll take a moment for it to generate the new spreadsheet. And now, now instead of saying choose the response destinations, it'll show me new responses. It will open up a Google Forms. Uh, it'll open up a Google spreadsheet and show me my form responses. On the left hand side, it'll show me the timestamp. If I had required uh, Blake School users to uh, use their account, it would show me their uh, username as well, and, and then it will show me all the information that they have filled out. Now this becomes a little bit more helpful when starting to look at, let's say, for example, what Joe Smith wrote uh, in the comments field. I can start to uh, be able to do a little bit deeper of a dive. Or if I want to start doing some analytics, such as uh, in column G, I notice that there's my scale question about uh, the invite is too long. Maybe I want to get a sense of uh, what the average response is. So just like I would normally in a spreadsheet, I would click into the cell. Uh, hit the equals field, start typing average. It will auto-populate the different kinds of averages it can compute. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the um, cells that I want to, to, com uh, to compute the average on and hit return. So I can see now, for example, that uh, it's not too bad. 2.6 sort of in between that people think that this invitation is too long. Um, so we'll get into analysis a little bit later on, but those are the two mechanisms for uh, looking at your responses. One, to look at summary responses, and two, to view responses in a Google spreadsheet.